welcome to Splatistics, where Super Coin Crew breaks down your favorite weapons. I'm Nikki, and we are looking at the E Leader 3K as a version 2.6 of Splatoon, as suggested by many of you in the comments. A charger with a high capacity tank. By packing a lot of ink into each shot, it can strike from a great distance at the cost of long charge time and ferocious ink consumption. The E Leader 3K comes with a burst bomb sub weapon and an echo locator special. The e Leader 3K becomes available at level 18 and it costs 12,500. Let's check out those basics. On a full tank, you can fire about 3.5 fully charged shots before running out of ink and slowing down your charge speed. And about 41 quick rapid taps on the trigger before receiving the low ink notification. When you're low on ink, it takes significantly longer to charge your shots. The effects are similar to as if you were in the air. In about 10 fully charged shots, you can reach your special. Like all chargers, you have excellent range, inking long straight lines. The E Leader 3K is no exception painting the ground in stripes. You can run and blast quick shots, but it leaves a lot of ground uninked. Long charge shots can provide lots of ground coverage, especially at the start of a match, inking a path for your team. non charged quick shot can almost shoot up to three lines, whereas a fully charged shot passes seven lines in length. Wow! You can ink a wall vertically with ease. Not so much horizontally. From up high, you're in an ideal space, considering the E-Leader 3K has almost the farthest range in the weapon library, just under the E-Leader 3K scope. Moving on to damage. Are you ready for this? The E-Leader 3K does 40 damage for a quick, uncharged shot from two lines away or closer. Three lines is just out of reach, whereas a fully charged shot does a whopping 180 damage, almost twice the damage necessary to splat. It does 180 from 7 lines away or closer, and at 8 lines away, your target is unfortunately out of reach. Just under a full charge, you'll deal damage just under 100, whereas a fully charged shot does 180. An enemy with defense up is still going to get splatted with a fully charged shot. One defense up will bring down 180 to 170.9, two defense up 163.4, and 3 defense up, 157.5. Let's check out the quick shots. Uncharged with a quick shot, 1 defense up will bring down 40 to 37.9. 2 defense up, 36.3. And 3 defense up, 35. Now for the ability stats with damage up and defense up considered. As always, with 1 damage up against 1 defense up, the damage is reset. 2 and 2, 3 and 3 as well. Since the values are still above 100 for fully charged shots, here is the damage for quick uncharged shots. With 3 damage up for your main ability, it will still take 3 quick uncharged shots to splat your opponent. We would like to mention that this is where damage up may be helpful. With damage up equipped, you can cut your one shot splat down from a full charge to about a 3 quarter charge. For this footage, we had 2 damage up equipped for our main and 2 damage up for our sub. Not to mention damage up also affects your sub weapon. You can achieve a 2 hit splat with an uncharged quick shot. Equipping 2 damage up for your main and 6 for your sub ability will give you a damage value of 50.36. Or you can equip 3 for your main and 2 for your sub for a damage value of 50.05. Keep in mind you do have your sub weapon for close range battle. Let's check that out. The E Leader 3K comes with a burst bomb sub weapon. A single burst bomb can deal 60 damage directly and 20 damage indirectly. What makes the burst bomb unique is you can dish out up to 4 on a full tank before receiving the low ink notification, as opposed to most other bombs where you can only throw one. Dishing out 4 will require you to refill your ink before tossing out another. It takes about 2 burst bombs to spot an opponent. The E Leader 3K comes with an echo locator for its special. The effects are very similar to the point sensor sub weapon. Use your special by clicking in the right control stick on your Wii U gamepad and automatically your enemies will be tagged all over the map, displaying lines from you to your enemy inklings. The great thing about this special is that the effects aren't just for you. Your enemy locations are shared across your team. This can give your team the winning advantage in the last few seconds of a match. 
From the moment you press the control stick in, your echolocator can last about 12.7 seconds. What's great is, even when you get spotted, the effects of the echolocator will last for your team. But also, if an enemy gets spotted with the echolocator, when they respawn, they will no longer be tagged. Now that you have all the basics down, it's time for strategy. We love using the E-Leader 3K in all matches. It's always great having one charger on the team, so why not have the best of the best? With the best range in the game, an awesome sub-weapon, and a shared special, the E-Leader 3K will definitely lead you and your team to victory. Considering the amount of ink that this weapon consumes, definitely have Ink Recovery Up and Ink Saver Main. You're probably going to be staying back and scoping out enemy inklings, because let's face it, you have the range. So why should you equip Damage Up? Damage Up is great for enemies close by. Quick charge shots and burst bombs lead to a deadly combo. Not to mention, you can shorten the time charging for a one-shot splat. Special Charge Up also helps you get your echolocator faster for you and your team. Cold Blooded would also be a great perk to stay out of sight from the enemy team. Even though you can spot enemies from far away, we suggest practicing with chargers. Motion controls or Wii U joysticks get familiar with tracking your targets on the move and strafing while shooting. Practice in turf wars and in the training room. Maintain a reasonable distance and height for surveying a map and know approximately how far your range is against enemies. Are they safe or just out of reach? The E-Leader 3K is also great against other chargers. You really can't go wrong with the E-Leader 3K in any ranked battle. Help pop the Remaker shield, protect the tower, and maintain your spot zones from afar. Turf wars may be difficult. You'll either be spotting the other team constantly, or you're covering ground by moving around the map. The E-Leader 3K is definitely a justified fan favorite, both for offense and support for your team. If you're interested in wielding this weapon, you may also be interested in the E-Leader 3K scope and the custom versions as well. We love using chargers and we always have you covered for statistics. Please continue to leave us comments asking what weapon should we cover next? For non-stop Nintendo, be sure to join the coin and subscribe. Yeah.